A swarm of bees settled under this umbrella and I was called to remove them. So I started scooping bees off the umbrella and putting them into a hive. When bees are in swarms like this, it means they're looking for a new place to live. They tend to be very docile since they don't have any resources to defend. They don't have a hive, food, or baby bees to protect, but they should have a queen. So with every handful of bees I scooped, I spent time searching for the queen. I repeated this process over and over again. By the time I removed most of the bees, I still had not seen the queen, and I realized this was an unusual case of a queenless swarm. This colony would not survive without a queen, but luckily I had an extra one on me I could give them. As soon as I gave the queen to the colony, they rushed to meet her. If they didn't accept her, they would try to kill her. If they did accept her, they would release her from the box by chewing through the piece of candy that stops up one end. As soon as the bees in the hive met the new queen, they began sending signals to the other bees telling them to move off the umbrella and into the box. So I just waited in the swarm of bees as the colony moved into their new home. After about 15 minutes, most of the bees were with their colony. So I checked on the queen and saw that the bees were starting to accept her. I waited a while longer for the bees to get in their new hive, then I loaded them into my truck and drove home. I put the bees in my apiary so they could continue the important work they do in a place that's safer for them and for people, and it was another great day of saving the bees.